Hello, hello. Emergency phone call for you. Wake up, wake up. Come on, off we go. Off we go. Up we go. Off we go. Chop, 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 chop. Off we go. Good boy. <laughs> Where is everyone today? Oh, they're all in the new wing. Prince Andrew's over there opening it. <laughs> Surgery. <laughs> okay, Justin, I want the slimline caviar and the dietetic champagne. A member of the royal family is coming here tonight. Everybody, lose weight! <laughs> Shelley, I've had a big meeting with myself and I'm very worried. I've got a duty to the historically downtrodden, you know. Uh, excuse me, can you put the downtrodden on ice? Listen, you, if you don't shave those pits by tonight, I'm phoning the police. I'm sorry, Shelley, but I'm meeting the prince with my full complement of body hair, thank you very much. It's quite good-looking, I think, isn't she, really? It's quite good-looking. Yes, well, Jennifer, you think Roger Whittaker's good-looking, <laughs> teeth can a man have in his mouth without eating his own face? She swept into the ballroom, a radiant rhapsody in pink. The trembling onlookers shrank before her and bowed to the ground. A serene finger she held aloft and whispered loudly, my prince, I have come. Your servant. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is very sad, Jennifer. Tell her, tell her. Well, um, it's not due for hours and hours and hours yet. You've got it a bit wrong, Lady Carlton. Oh. <laughs> I have to make a phone call. Look, you, keep your mouth shut. We're bound to silence. Besides, I do think the royal family deserve a little bit of privacy. Amanda, my lips are super glued. <laughs> Don't faint. Prince Andrew's coming over here tonight. Candice is going out with him. We're going to be bridesmaids. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Gotta go. How was it? How was Everything's it? Everything's okay, Cheryl. Everything's okay. I'm going to have a lie down for a couple of hours, okay? Because I feel a bit icky. Can you give us a hand, Jen? Yes. Oh, you know how you feel when you first come out of the anaesthetic? All weak and woozy. It's just how I feel. I've got some perio. Feel better. Big night tonight. <laughs> My caviar has hatched. She'll be here. I know she's going to make an entrance. Well, here goes, Teen. I just have to go in and tell the truth. It's not so it's that much of an exaggeration, is it? No. I like to say what I like, can't I? It's your life, can't. Teen, would you have somewhere to go if I suddenly had to move into your flat? <laughs> What's going on? How do you know her? Okay, I'm an actress. Trained with Bud Stanislavski. That's B U D. Josephine and I are considering moving into Clarence's house. Amanda Ripley, that's all I'm telling you. Oh, incidentally, did you need to put? I think the Queen's smashing. <laughs> look, look, I'd like to know who leaked this, please. Uh, someone's mother phoned us from California. Said her daughter was living with a girlfriend of Prince Andrew. What? Um. Could everybody leave now? There's been a hideous mistake. Come on, come on, come on. Drew back. Amanda, help me, please, please. Right, well, thank you, members of the press. It's been super having you here. I'd like to reward you with a little tidbit of information, and that is that Candice Valentine is at this moment with His Royal Highness at the Piccadilly Theatre in town. If you'd like to go and find her there. Oh, yeah. I wish not I'd you, told me not you, stupid. <laughs> you, I hope you're proud of yourself. Oh, sorry, sorry. Everything's always my fault. Well, where is she anyway? She's already an hour late. Ever think she might be, like, putting us on like she doesn't even know him, maybe? Don't get 
defensive, Shelley. Garçon, how would you like to be in novels? <laughs> there better be a prince with her or she's in a lot of trouble. Right, Amanda? Amanda, right? You're alone? Told you, go for the juggler. No sodding pricks! <laughs> apology department, isn't it? <laughs> we didn't hear that, Shelley. <laughs> okay, shoot me. No blindfold, just shoot me. I told my mother, she leaves. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shelley. <gasps> me and Andy have been sitting in the car outside for an hour, crying our eyes out. Just now we can't see each other again. <laughs> I promise you, I'm going to sue my mother. Because now the press have found out. They'll drag up my disease and everything. I mean, Andy said he'd marry me even if I didn't have any legs. Take any no, no, no. Take 